You guys did it. MBS, you finally did it. I wasn't going to make the video, but after the recent update, I had to do it. I had to catch it before you guys released it. This is not a profit video, but after what I say, people will start believing it. So here we go. Shielding will not fix this game. Yes, it's true. It is dying. But adding shielding would not fix its current state. All right, that's the end of the video. Bye, guys. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, an explanation is in order, and that's what I aim to do with this video. So in this video, I explain the issue with shielding currently being implemented and why it will not fix the game. But before I start, I would like to introduce myself and give a little background. So what's up, everybody? This is the Shogun. I've been a game competitor and creator for educational fighting game content for over 10 years. I was drawn into fighting games as a kid, and I competed and won several tournaments over my years of gaming. Ended up becoming the best player in my state for Soul Calibur and Project M and Modern Smash Brothers, and have created several guides and styles and fighting games that are still used to this day. I started my fighting game journey with the platform fighter Smash Brothers Melee, which soon moved over to traditional fighting games like Soul Calibur and NPC3, where I was able to compete and place high in these games and often win tournaments. It just depended on the direction I choose to play, but when I did choose a direction, I usually became pretty efficient in it, and multiverses is no different, as I'm currently sitting in Grandmaster, which is the top 1% of players in the game. I say all this not as a flex, but to say, and oftentimes arrogantly, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to fighting games. And what Multiverses is doing with shields will not fix the core issues in this game. When I first saw the announcement of Multiverses, I was completely skeptical. In fact, my initial thoughts were, ain't no way this game is going to be competitive. It's basically low-budget PlayStation All-Stars. But my brother eventually talked me into it, so I went ahead and decided to try it out. And after I tried it out, boy, I did fall in love with this game. And it made me say something I thought I would never say in existence of my life. I am a LeBron man. The fact that a game with no block could be played so competitive caught my attention, so I grinded and perfected and eventually saw its real potential into a competitive game like any other I have ever played. And while this may seem like a bias towards shields, trust me when I say it isn't for me, as I often play more of a suedo aggression style, punishing players with a more defensive playstyle, so shielding will actually benefit my playstyle. So on the outside, adding shields looks fine, and shielding is used in plenty of fighting games to give that paper, rock, scissors feel to the game that's often used in plenty of fighting games. You know, the block beats attack, attack beats grab, grab beats block, but how it's implemented currently, it will only break the game. This idea of RPS is not new in fighting games, but NVS has haphazardly put this into the idea of the game. And correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like they're trying to implement this to future patches or maybe by season four, so it can be a core mechanic into the game. But my peoples, my peoples, you cannot add extra things into the game when other previous issues have not been addressed yet. It just ends up coming off as being more jank. I mean, just look at the way the shielding was presented in the videos. Have you noticed it? Have you noticed the interactions? If you're a high level competitor, you will notice it right away. Everything, and I mean everything, becomes plus for the blocker. For those that do not know, each attack in a fighting game has a set of animations or frames before an attack connects to the target. I'll try not to go into too much detail here as there are videos out there that can break this down. But in simple terms, there's basically active frames and inactive frames. An attack can have several active frames through the whole animation. For example, the Shaggy Kick has a long amount of active frames through its whole animation. Once the active frames are also known as the attack's hitbox, connects with the target, also known as the target's hurt box, any additional active frames aren't registered. This is to reward the player for connecting a hit and not getting punished for hitting the target. Well, unless if you're Iron Giant, but that's a video in its own and I'll probably make that in the future. This is why in other platform fighters, aerials are given extra hit stun or outright cancelable active frames on shields. And so players on defense cannot abuse the mechanic in making an actual paper, rock, scissors. But as you can see in these clips, there's no stun on anything, effectively making a game of paper, pebble, and scissors. 
In almost every one of the clips, Block rewards the player with a huge frame advantage. Like this one, look how much frame advantage this player has for just blocking their attack. So what happens when you add a mechanic that rewards the player so heavily for this defensive option? Naturally, you're going to go more towards defense and play more of a passive style. And notice that more often than not, the aggressor is actually getting more punished than the defensive person. And while the idea of shield was to reward players for a more aggressive play style and not react to attacks, and these are not my words, this was in the presentation. And that way, it isn't a game where players have to be rewarded for always waiting to attack second. This only created a extra level of defense. So now you're actually going to get more punished for trying to play aggressive. This is the reason why dodge strength and shield strength are separate in other platform fighters. And you may be thinking, well, show that's a lot to say for something that can be adjusted. And yes, you would be correct, it is. But even if they fix every issue I mentioned about shield in this video, it will still be an unstable mess of things because at its core right now, the game is flawed. Flawed things that need to seriously be addressed. And until those issues are addressed, the game will continuously be flawed. Adding shield currently only move the goalposts, not address the holes that are already apparent issues in the game. Things like its ridiculous hitboxes are still in the game, the fact that auto-taking is still broken in the game, there's only two levels of priorities, and substantial lingering hitboxes on hit have yet to be addressed. And now we're adding a layer of unbalanced mechanics on top of what's already glaring issues in the game. This is basically putting a band-aid on a bullet wound. Now don't take this video as a doom and gloom, as if I didn't see potential in this game, I wouldn't be making this video. And I feel that these issues can be fixed. And even while I feel that I'm almost checked out with this game at times, this game obviously means something to me. As mentioned, I made this video. <laughs> Why would I make this long-winded video if I didn't love the game? Or if I didn't love this community? I honestly feel like this game could be one of the greats. But with this current like direction and trajectory, it feels like they will take one step forward, one step back, and then shoot themselves in the foot that they took forward. <laughs> it's just like, like, why? Why would you do that? And I hope the devs can find their footing. See what I did there? Footing? Shoot themselves in the foot? Okay, I'll stop. And if they can't, well, shoot, sign me up. I already know I can fix this. But in all seriousness, though, I really do hope they find their footing. But if they can't, this game will continue to be an afterthought and not the spectator sport that it could be. So if you watch up to this point, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it insightful and hope it can help move some discussions going with this game. And if you feel I'm wrong in any way or have anything you may want to add that I have made missed, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for watching. Peace, love, and show out.